않습니까? 여러분 여름 캠프 하시면서 여러분들의 마음은 스프링필드에 갔다가 대덕수양간에 갔다가 또 호주에도 갔다가 아프리카도 어, 저희가 전 대륙을 어, 함께 하는 것 같습니다. 너무너무 좋고요. 어, 또 어, 아까도 스프링필드 이제 사진이 계속 나왔는데 어, 지금이라도 비행기를 타고 달려가고 싶을 만큼 너무 좋고 또 하나님께서 어, 앞으로 어떻게 일하실지 어, 말씀을 들으면서도 너무너무 여러분 궁금하지 않습니까? 2021년도 또 2022년도 하나님께서 놀라운 일들을 이루실 것을 다시 한번 생각해 봅니다. 여러분 오늘 이 시간에도 또 저희 다 함께 하나님께 기도드리는 시간을 가지겠습니다. 여러분 개인적으로 하나님께 기도드리겠습니다. 사랑의 하나님 아버지 참 감사합니다. 하나님 오늘 수양의 마지막 날 오전입니다. 하나님 각 도시에서 각 나라에서 또 여러 교회에서 들려오는 죄사함을 받은 분들의 간증이 저희들의 마음을 뜨겁게 합니다. 하나님 가족들이 구원을 받고 함께 말씀을 들으며 기뻐하는 형제자매님들의 그 기쁨이 저희들의 마음을 감사와 행복으로 가득 채우고 있습니다 하나님 오늘 아침에도 저희가 다 함께 하나님께 기도를 드립니다 하나님 저희들의 기도를 들어주셔서 가족들이 죄사함을 받고 기뻐하고 있습니다 또 하나님 또 아직 죄사함을 받지 못한 분들 당신이 기억하여 주시고 오늘 오전 저녁 저희가 말씀을 듣고 교제를 나누는 동안 성령이 힘있게 역사하여 주시기를 주님 앞에 간절히 기도를 드립니다. 하나님 여름 캠프를 허락해 주셔서 감사드리고 귀한 교제를 허락해 주셔서 감사드리며 하나님 저희 형제 자매님들과 함께 이 복음을 가지고 저희가 곳곳에 가서 힘있게 또 복음으로 함께 할수 있어서 주님께 영광과 찬송을 돌립니다. 오늘 오전 예배를 하나님께 모두 맡깁니다. 감사드리며 예수 그리스도 이름으로 기도렸습니다. 아멘 네, 여러분 교회마다 어, 죄사함을 받았다는 간증이 너무 많지요. 네, 저희도 어, 그런 간증을 계속 나누면서 형제자매님들이 너무너무 기뻐하며 하루하루를 지내고 있습니다. 혹시 아직까지 여러분 가족들에게나 주위 분들에게 어, 전도를, <웃음> 전도를 못하셨거나 아직 함께 복음을 전하지 못하신 분들이 계신다면 여러분 오늘 마지막 날이지만 마지막 날이기 때문에 여러분들 또 발을 내딛어 보시면 또 하나님께서 분명히 은혜를 베풀어 주시고 일하실 줄 믿습니다. 저희가 말씀을 듣기 전에 또 그라시아 삽창단의 찬양 함께 하시겠습니다. 세 곡입니다. 기억하라, 다 찬양하여라, 그리고 영화로신 주 예수의 
여러분 그라샷 합창단을 큰 박수로 맞아주시기 바랍니다. 
그 현장에 있으면 저희가 앵콜을 외치고 또 합창단의 찬양을 더 듣고 그러는데 아, 이 줌을 하는 게 그게 너무 아쉬운 것 같습니다. 한곡한곡 한곡 들을 때마다 또 너무 감사하고 여러분 또 여름 캠프 시간 너무 빨리 가죠. 오늘 저녁이 마지막 날이라고 하는데 어, 믿어지지가 않습니다. 또 오늘 오전에도 여러분 말씀에 마음이 푹 젖으시기를 바랍니다. 그러면 박옥수 목사님 나오셔서 말씀 전해 주시겠습니다. 깊어지고 감사합니다. As we continue with this camp, we can see how we are deepening in this camp. 음악도 좋고요. The music is good. 아까 선교회 이렇게 소식도 너무 너무 아름답습니다. The mission report is also good. 오늘은 요한복음 있는 말씀을 읽겠습니다. Today we'll see the word in book of uh, Gospel of John. 요한복음 21장까지 있는데요. We have up to 20, uh, 21. 15절부터 25절까지 읽겠습니다. We'll see John chapter 21 from verse 15. 요한복음 21장을 찾으시면 감사하겠습니다. Please open your Bible to John chapter 21. <웃음> 자좀 제가 읽겠습니다. I read from verse 15. 저희가 조반 먹은 후에 예수께서 시몬 베드로에게 이르시되 요한의 아들 시몬아 네가 이 모든 사람들보다 나를 더 사랑하느냐 하시니 가로되 주여 그러하외다. 내가 주를 사랑한 줄 주께서 아시나이다. 가로되 내 어린 양을 먹이라 하시고. So when they had dined, Jesus saith unto Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. 또두 번째 가로되 요한의 아들 시몬아, 네가 나를 사랑하냐 하시니 주, 가로되 주여 그러하외이다. 내가 주를 사랑한 줄 주께서 아시나이다. 가로사대 내 양을 치라 하시고. He saith him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. 세 번째 가라사대 요한의 아들 시몬아, 내가 나를 사랑하느냐 하시니 주께 세 번째 내가 나를 사랑하느냐 하시므로 베드로 근심하여 가로되 주의 모든 것을 아시오매 내가 주를 사랑한 줄을 주께서 아시나이다. 예수께 가라사대 내 양을 먹이라. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he had said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And when he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, feed my sheep. 내가 진실로 진실 내게 이르노니 젊어서는 네가 스스로 뛰뛰고 원하는 곳으로 다녔거니와 늙어서는 내 팔을 벌리니 남이 내게 뛰뛰고 원치 않은 곳으로 데려가리라. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, when thou wast young, thou girdest thyself, and walkest whither thou wouldest, wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hands, and another shall gird thee, and carry thee whither thou wouldest not. 이 말씀하신 베드로 어떠한 죽음으로 하나님께 영광을 돌릴 것을 가리키심이라. 이 말씀하시고 베드로의 길을 시대 나를 따르라 하시니. This spake he is signifying by what death he should glorify God, and when he had spoken this, he saith unto him, Follow me. 베드로가 돌이켜 예수의 사랑하시는 그 제자가 따른 것을 보니 그는 만찬석에서 예수의 품에 의지하여 주여 주를 판자 누구누구니까 묻던 자라. Then Peter turning about seeth the disciple whom Jesus loved following, which also leaned on his breast at supper and said, Lord, which is he that betrayeth thee? 이에 베드로가 그를 보고 예수께 자오되 주여 이 사람은 어떻게 되겠습니까? Peter seeing him said to Jesus, Lord, what shall this man do? 
예수께서 가르쳐 내가 올 때까지 그를 머물게 하고자 할지라도 내게 무슨 상관이 있느냐? 너는 나를 따르라 하시더라. Jesus saith unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? Follow thou me. 이 말씀은 형제들이 나가서 그 제단 죽지 않겠다 하였으나 예수의 말씀 그가 죽지 않겠다 하신 것이 아니라 내가 올 때까지 그를 머물게 하고자 할지라도 내게 무슨 상관이냐 하신 것이라. Then went this thing abroad among the brethren that the disciples should not die. Yet Jesus said not unto him, He shall not die. But if I will that he tarry till I come, what is that to thee? What is that to thee? 이 일을 증거 일을 기록한 제자 이 사람이라. 오늘 그의 증거가 참인 줄 아노라. This is the disciple which testified of these things and wrote these things, and we know that his testimony is true. 우리가 신앙 생활하면서 as we live our lives, 알고 있는 것이라도 그게 마음에 다 닿아서 역사하는 건 아닙니다. We may know it, but doesn't mean that'll work in your heart all. 그래서 이제 우리가 많은 아는 지식을 가지고 있을지라도, so we may have a lot of knowledges. 그 많은 지식들이 그냥 쌓여 있다가 내 마음에 와 닿지 않으면 그 내게 어떤 영향을 주지 못한다는 거예요. Even if the knowledge is piled up in your heart, but if it doesn't come to your heart, it cannot influence your life. 어, 제가 군대 가서 이렇게 훈련서 훈련을 받는데. Once I went to the army and I was undergoing the training. 저들이 이제 그 관물 다이라고 해서 이제 친구를 제일 치, 밑에 놓고 위에 이제 다이가 있는데 거기에 뭐 작업복을 개 놓고 위에 이제 단 위에다 이제 그 철모 단티 그리고 이제 그 장갑 같은 것도. So we had our closet underneath we had this space where we kept our folded blanket and on on the closet we had this place where we put the helmet also the belt and also the boots everything there. 그 어느 날 잠을 자고 일어났는데. One day I slept and I got up. 내 위에 그 나도 장갑이 없어. But in my closet, the pair of my glove was gone. 군대는 도둑이 굉장히 많아. There are many thieves in the army. 예, 군대는 그걸 도둑이라고 안 그래. But they don't call it theft. 위치 이동이라 그래요. They will say relocationing. 전부 다 대한민국 국방부 안에 있기. Because they're all within the Ministry of Justice, Ministry of Defense. 장갑을 누가 밤에 잘 떠나 훔쳐간 거예요. So while I was asleep, somebody stole my pair of gloves. 아이 큰일 났어요. Oh, I was in trouble. 아침에 학과 출장을 하는데. In the morning when you go to work. 우리가 백팔 어 그러니까 이백 명이 우리 한 중대인데. So two hundred people were making one platoon. 아침에 막 사나이로 팔탁 올리면 가는데. So we're singing the military song. We were we were marching. So we we'll sing the military song, saying we are born as a man. So 199 arms, there were you know red arms, blue arms were going up, but for mine was red. You know, having this first fight wasn't matter. But back then there was a lot of beating in the military. If my boss in the army base would be like, Boxer Park, where did you sell your pair of gloves? 이제 바다로 칠것 같은 그런 막 두려움이 생겼어. I was afraid that they may beat me up, beat me up. 여기는 군대야. I'm in the army now. 다른 방법이 없어. I have no other choice. 나도 오늘 제 훔쳐야겠어. I have no choice but to steal it tonight. 그래서 밤에 다 잠이 자는데 화장이 갔다 오는 척하면서 이제 장갑을 하나 훔치면 되는 거예요. So in the night when everybody was asleep, I would pretend I'm going to the restroom. On my way back, I can steal a pair of gloves. 위치를 옮겨 놓으면 되는 거지. I can just switch no gloves from gloves. 그래서 장갑을 이제 버 이제 버렸다 하면 안 돼요. And when you when you lose your glove, you shouldn't say that you are you have lost your gloves. 갖다 놓고 또 나의 옮몇개 옮겨 몇 번째 and you have to switch others' gloves several times so that they may they may also get confused. But that's when I thought. When you steal the gloves, you may not get caught as everybody is asleep. But just in case you get caught while you sleep, still. If people did get to know that you attempted this theft, and would you be able to witness the gospel? 어 저는 제가 통신 훈련소 안 돼서 교육을 받고 거기서 이제 마칠 때 제대할 때 있었는데. I was trained in the communication center, and I stayed until I I got discharged from the military. 사실 저는 군대 갈때 일부러 돈이 있었지만 안 가져가고. When I go to, when I go to the army, I had the money, but intentionally I didn't take the money with me. 오백 원짜리 하나 그때 제일 큰 고액이었는데 그걸 이제 접어 가지고 성경 제일 뒤페이지 놓고 풀로 칠을 했어요. I just took five hundred one bill, the only I stuck it to you know back of the back page of my Bible, and I glued it. 
그때 목도장 하나 새겨야 한다 그래서 내 도장 생긴데 70원 달러 100원짜리 주고 30원 난 30원을 가지고 군대를 갔어. So I needed a stamp I only and I paid for the wooden stamp and I only had about 31 left with me. 이제 그러기 때문에 제가 근데 그군 생활 하면서 복음을 전하는 게 너무 행복했어. During my military life for me to preach the gospel it made me so happy. 통신 훈련소 이등병으로 굉장히 힘든 시간이었지만. I was having hard time as a private in communication center. 어 저희가 제가 28번이고. And my number was 28. 송순종인 제가 29번이고. But 송순종 was 29. 다음 김창원 형제가 30번이었어. But 김창원 his number was 30. 우리 늘 셋이 함께 다녔어. We were all three of us together. 나는 이제 그 I was in I was in the Department of Education. Yeah, Song Sunjong is a teacher's number. And so uh, Song Sunjong he was in other department. Kim Chang Won is a teacher, a machine maker. Yeah, and but uh, Kim Chang Won he was in charge of the machine department. We all together. So we were all together. But I preached the gospel. Song Sunjong was saved. Song Sunjong and Kim Chang Won they all got saved. These two brothers were saved. As I preached the gospel, Song Sunjong and Kim Chang Won they all got saved. These two brothers were saved. As I preached the gospel, Song Sunjong and Kim Chang Won they all got saved. These two brothers were saved. As I preached the gospel, Song Sunjong and Kim Chang Won they all got saved. These two brothers were saved. As I preached the gospel, Song Sunjong and Kim Chang Won they all got saved. These two brothers were saved. As I preached the gospel, Song Sunjong and Kim Chang Won they all got saved. These two brothers were saved. 정도 있고 사람이 있죠 따뜻해요. They had a lot, a lot of affection. They were very, they had this warmth in their hearts. 제가 군대 그 교육 받을 때. When I was undergoing this uh, training. 매일 저녁 기차빵을 먹었거든요. Every evening we would eat those train bread. 제자고 난데 한참 있다 송순정 형제 날 보고 어이 방 목사 빵값 내놔. 그래. Long time later, his brother Song Sunjong would call me and say, "You should pay for the bread." He said. 빵값 무슨 빵값을 내라 그래? What bread do you mean? 야 내가 군 생활할 때 교육 생활할 때 내가 저녁마다 빵 샀어. Remember during our military life every evening I, every evening I bought the bread for you. <웃음> 제가 잘 몰랐는데 제가 그 저녁마다 빵을 먹었거든요. I didn't realize it but every evening we had the bread. 근데 제가 그때 돈 10원도 안 가져 30원 가지고 돈이 없는데 빵을 먹었었네. 빵 맞아요. But back then I didn't even have a penny with me, but I was able to eat the bread because he bought the bread. 빵만 사는 게 아니라 제가 복음을 전할 수도 두 친구는 많은 걸 도와줬어요. Not only the bread, but these two friends they helped me a lot for me to preach the gospel. 그 이제 주일날은 내가 이제 아침에 나가면 잘 때까지 그 복음 전하고 그렇게 시간을 보는. Usually on Sunday when I go out of the room, I'll stay outside until until late in the night. 제가 해야 할 일은 순종이가 다 해줬어. And but a 순종 will do the things that I have to, I have to do myself. 건물 정도는 내가 안 해라 가서 순. Once I had to do, I had to arrange my closet, but I couldn't. But Sun Jung did it for me. But he got beaten up because of me. So I had good friends. So before going to the army, I prayed to God for one year. Oh God, when I go to the army, let me receive the grace from the, my bosses, from my cameras. Let me receive grace from my under. So that God answered that prayer. 그날 하여튼 장갑을 이제 버려서 고민이 됐어요. But that time as I lost my pair of gloves, I was very much worried about it. I hear I have no choice. I have to steal. 근데 이제 내 마음에 어떤 생각이 드냐면 But within my heart I thought 네가 장갑 훔쳐도 안 들킬 수 있다. You may not get caught when you steal. 근데 만일에 네가 장갑 훔쳐 들키면 But in case you get caught while you steal 그때도 내 안에서 너 전도할 수 있겠나? Would you be able to preach the gospel in your room? I just took it simply. But it was not a light problem. If I don't get caught, that's okay. But if I get caught, Box of Park, you're a Christian, you stole this thing, I don't believe you. I wouldn't be able to witness the gospel. If I can't preach the gospel in the barrack, that will be suffering for me. As a private soldier, as a trainee soldier, it will be so merry for me to live like that for all my life. It was true back then, we were so hungry, we were undergoing a lot of troubles. There were a lot of people going running away from the military base. People would be homesick and they would run away to their hometown. 저는 이등병 교육소는 한 
But for me, I thought I would be happy as a trainee soldier and private soldier because I was able to preach the gospel all day long. But while I try to steal the pair of gloves, if I not get caught, that's okay. But in case I get caught, I wouldn't be able to preach the gospel. So that morning I prayed to God, God, I don't want to steal the gloves. But can you, could you do me a favor? We are in the military base. I have no other way. But God, I know you could. Please give me a pair of gloves. That was a, such a blessing for me. So that that day after the duty, we went for the training. We went for the training, grenade uh, grenade throwing uh, training. The official, the instructor will come and explain the you know, components of the grenade. And you have to hold the uh, you have to hold the grenade with a safety pin. If you just drop it, it will just you know explode. But it will not explode. But if you pull off the safety pin and drop it, it will explode after three seconds. So you have to hold the grenade in your right arm, right hand. You have to pull out the safety pin with your left hand. So you count one, two, three, you throw it. So after three seconds, It will ignite, you know, it will ignite the detonator. As the fuse is lit, it will go, it will take three seconds to get to the gunpowder and explode. As the fuse is lit and as it gets three seconds to get to the gunpowder, it explodes. These pieces of iron and this grenade will just explode and just go. It will just you know explode and people will get killed. Around, those around it. So you have to be trained to pull out the pin and throw it one, two, three. You have to be trained for that. But during the war, people may be so much intense. But not even pulling off the pin, people may just throw it, and your enemy will take it and pull off the safety pin and throw it back to you, and you will die. And people may get perplexed, and that may happen during the battle. So that day we underwent that training. And after that, we had 10 minute break. So we were all strangers because we just got to the army, so we didn't know one another, but we just knew them by name. We had 10 minutes break. One of my comrades came. Hey, Oksu Park. Why? Why don't you wear your in a pair of gloves? So he saw me not wearing the gloves. I'm in trouble, you know. Why? Last night while I was asleep, somebody took my pair of gloves. Hey, Pong, you should have told me earlier. That's how they speak in the military base. What, do you have two pairs of gloves or something? You have two pairs of gloves. Oh, where did you steal it? I didn't steal it. Then how do you have two pairs of gloves? And the captain of the platoon in this space is my older brother. Because I had frostbite in my, in my hands. He gave me one extra pair of gloves. What is it good for to be cameras? She gave me that pair of gloves. A pair of gloves that's not expen that's not that expensive when it's made of wool. <laughs> But I was so thankful that I could never forget in my life. And I could see, oh, even in the military base, God works. I was so thankful. Because I'm, I, I, meant, I, meant, I meant to steal a pair of gloves. I was in the military. I have no other choice. Otherwise, I will get beaten up. 
So I decided to steal the pair of gloves. But in my heart, God gave me the thoughts. You may not get caught when you, while you attempt. But if you attempt and you, if you get caught, how would you be able to witness the gospel? Oh, that was not good. That was impossible for me. Because of stealing the pair of gloves, my whole military life could be suffering. Lord, even if I have to get bitten up, I won't steal a pair of gloves. But please give me a pair of gloves. But that day, this is usually impossible. One of my comrades gave me a pair of gloves. And when I saw that, you know what I realized? Oh, even Jesus is in the military base. And that gave me a lot of strength. For three years of my military life, I was so thankful because of the Lord Jesus. For 10 years, I taught inmates in prison. Since Suwon and Daejeon prison, I taught there for 10 years. I met many inmates there. But some of them, they would have these thoughts. For instance, if they want to steal, they want, they want to have certain things. 사람들이 도둑질하면 도둑질하다 잡힌다는 것은 you know, why, why, why you attempt theft if you get caught? 그 절대로 안 잡힐 수가 없어요. Actually, you cannot get caught. 한 번씩 안 잡힐 수 있죠. You know, sometimes you may avoid. 그러면 왜 잡혀 교도소에 옵니까? But why do people end up in prison then? 근데 이제 중요한 게 뭐냐면은. But what is important here? 사람들의 마음이 너무 너무 신기해요. The people's heart is very weird. 내가 그게 진짜 갖고 싶을 때는. When they really want it. 이제 정상적인 눈을 볼때 저게 잡힐 수도 있고 안 잡힐 수도 있어요. In ordinary thinking, they may think I may either get caught or not. 근데 지금 내가 꼭 갖고 싶은 마음이 들면 들수록. But the more they want to have the thing, 훔치면 안 잡힐 것 같은 생각이 들어요. They have this, they tend to have this thought that I may not get caught. 제가 교도소 안에 어떤 사람이 이제 그 도둑질하다 잡혔어요. There was this man who got caught while was selling things. 이제 교도소 안에서 생각을 해요. He now he ended up in prison. Now you would think about it. Why did I get caught? Ah, I was so foolish to leave my fingerprint. So in the, in the prison they would think, those who want to steal, as I left my fingerprints, that's why I got caught. But this time I'm going to wear these rubber gloves, then I'm not going to get caught. But they would get caught again. Why did I get caught this time? Ah, 내그 집에 도둑질하러 들어갔는데 그때 남편이 퇴근하다가 딱 잡혔어. Ah, when I went in that into that house, I wore the gloves, but I I I met the husband of the woman. 내가 그걸 생각 못 했어. I didn't count the time. 그럼 남편이 퇴근하기 전에 도둑질하러 안 잡히겠다. If I'd gone there early enough, so that I wouldn't I don't see the husband, that would have been better for me. 사람들 나가서 어떤 사람 뭐 3년 후에 다시 돌아오고. So when they get out of the prison after three years, they would come back. Some people they would come come back after two years. Some people they would come back to prison after six months. Some people after one month. Some people they go out in the morning and they come back in the night. Even so, they still have the desire to have it. When they, have, when they have the strong desire to have it, that's when they have the thought that I'm not going to get caught. That's how the psychology of man works. The woman caught in adultery that she got caught. She had to be stoned to death. Do you know why she committed adultery? She had lustful heart in her. Oh, that man is so good looking. If I could sleep with that man, that would be nice. So when that lust for heart arises in her heart, she would think, oh, if I do it this way, that way, I won't get caught. 
So she didn't just get commit adultery because she had lustful heart. If she thinks about getting caught and being stoned, she wouldn't have committed adultery. If I do it this way, locking the door in the night and then I won't get caught, nobody would know. In a normal case, oh, that man is good looking, let me sleep with him. Oh, that woman is beautiful, let me sleep with her. So this may heart, this kind of heart right, may arise in their heart. But when they think, oh, this woman is so beautiful, I want to sleep with her. No matter what, I want to sleep with her. When that kind of a strong desire arises in their heart, they would think, they would have this heart that if I do it this way and that way, I won't get caught. And people, they would give in to that. She, the woman knew that she would get caught and get, uh, get killed if she committed adultery. She knew that she was going to be stoned if she get caught, but why did she commit adultery? She was deceived by herself because she wanted it so much. And she wanted it so much that she thought she, wasn't, she was not going to get caught. That's how people who gamble think about too. When you gamble, you can easily make money, right? You know, without much effort. If you just pull the lever sometime, you can make the money, right? There's no one who gambled to lose money. They gamble to make money. So their heart, their heart tend to lean toward getting money and earning money. They feel like if I do it this way, I'll earn money. They tried it because they thought they were going to win money, but they lost money. If they come to think a little more, oh, last time I felt like winning, but I lost money. This time too, I feel like winning, but I may still lose the money. If they could think so, they wouldn't be able to gamble anymore. But they want to win the money this time. I lost the tuition of my son. My son won't be able to go to school. I have to make money this time. No matter what, I have to win the money. Then they would have this heart that I'm going to win the money this time. The foolish one, they would trust their thought. Those who are wise. Last time I thought I was going to win. But I lost. But this time I may lose the money too. Then they wouldn't gamble again. There are people who are losing money, who are going through suffering, who blame themselves, but they still gamble. Because they have this feeling that I'm going to win the money this time. Because they need the money. And they want to win the money. That's why they feel like winning the money this time. So they would keep on losing the money, but they would still think like, I'm going to win money this time. So it is almost impossible to keep this balance of a normal and ordinary heart. When I want to steal and have the thing, there would be a lot of thought, I want to steal that. And they would begin, begin to plan, plan, if I do this way and that way, I won't get caught. That's why we need the prison. Because if they think that, they wouldn't have pr uh, criminals. People would get deceived by their thoughts. When I want to commit adultery, because they focus on committing adultery, they, they think that they are not going to get caught. It's going to be okay. That's how they would think. I'm not going to get caught if I steal. That's how they would think. When I was in the army, I wanted to steal the pair of gloves. But God gave me certain hearts. It's possible that you may not get caught. But in case you get caught, you wouldn't be able to witness the gospel in the barrack. You know, witnessing is so good. Do you know why I'm standing in the podium here? 
좋아요. The preaching the word it is so good to me. 말씀 전에 말씀을 듣고 사람들이 변하는 걸 보면. When I preach the word and people when I see people changing. 사람을 받는 거. When I see people receiving forgiveness of sin. 사실 제가 꼭 행복한 것만 있는 게 아니고. In fact, I'm not always happy. I would say. 어려운 일도 있고 문제가 있어요. It's true. There are sometimes there are difficulties and problems. 어떤 문제가 있어도. But no matter what problem I may face. 제가 복음을 전하고. As I preach the gospel. 사람들이 구원받고 있는 거. When I see people getting saved, that is so good to me. 이번에 사모아 총리가 그러니까 국가 원수 총리로부터 초청을 받았어요. Recently, I got invited by the Prime Minister of Samoa. 제가 에스와티니 국왕이 미국에서 세계 정상회담이 있어 그 가셨는데. There was world summit in New United United Nation in New York, and the King of Eswatini went there. 그때 제가 And I was I was in New York back then. 제 아들은 뉴욕에 사니까 구왕 폐하를 우리 집에 모시고 와서 아들 집에 정심을 같이 먹고 싶었어. Because my son was living in New York, I wanted to have him over in in my son's house so that we could have lunch together with the king. 그래서 이제 그 정상 회담한테 들어갔어요. So I went there to the world summit. 구왕을 만났습니다. And I met the king. 괜찮 우리 아들 이게 사는 식사하러 좀 나갈 수 있나냐고 물어봐. And I invited him for lunch in my son's house. 구왕 폐하께서 그러고 싶다. And the king said I would. 그런데 I would like to, but 미국 정부에서 the American government 국가 원수 경호 문제가 있어가지고 여기 이동하는 걸 허락지 않았다. For the security's reason, they won't let let me out. 아 그러냐고. Oh, I see. 아 내가 모시고 싶었는데 안 됐다고. I wanted to have you over, but it didn't work out. 그래서 이야기를 좀 했어요. So we talked for a while. 이야기를 마치고. And after the talk, 제가 이제 그 기빈실에 좀 쉬고 있는데. I was I was taking a break in the resting area. 여기 어떤 젊은 청년이 내옆 의자 앉는가? I saw a young man sitting next to my next to me. 근데 물어봤어요. I asked him. 당신 어디서 왔느냐고? Where are you from? 사모아에서 왔어요. He said he was from Samoa. 여기 왜 왔느냐? What what brought you here? 아 우리 총리께서 여기 와서 아 국정상회담 참석하셨어요. Our prime minister came here for the summit. 아 그러냐고? Oh I see. 당신 뭐 하는 총리 비서라고? So what is your job? I'm a secretary to the prime minister. 총리께서 뭐 하시냐? So what does he do now? 아 그거 좀 쉬고. He's taking a break now. I took out my business business card and I gave it to him. I'm a pastor. 혹시 총리가 명함 드리면 이런 사람 좀 뵙고 싶은데 좀 뵙고 싶은 한 물어봐 주겠냐? Could you please ask him if I would like to if I could meet him? 저는 그래도 그게 될 거란 생각 못 했어요. Although I tried that, but I did never thought that that would work out. 국가 원수인데. He was the head of state. 명함 한장 보고. Just seeing just one business card without checking the identity. 저만 이해가 안 갔어. Would he meet me? I wondered. 근데 저는 뭐 믿지 말 본전이니까. But you know I can just try it anyway. So that's why I did it. That young man came back to me and said, "The prime minister doesn't know who you are exactly, but he said he wants to see you." So I went to the room where the prime minister was resting. I greeted him. I introduced myself. I'm Pastor Oksu Park from South Korea. If you don't mind, can I talk about Bible with you? So I preached the gospel to him. 그 아주 이제 뭐 총리 너무 길게 해도 안 되고. I shouldn't be too long. 빨리 해도 안 돼. I shouldn't be too, you know, too quick. 그다음 복음을 딱 전하고 나니까. So I talk, I preach the gospel. 사십이 분이 딱 됐다. So I'd spoken for forty minutes. 총리 곁에 주셔서 감사합니다. Thank you for listening. I said. 이야기 끝났어. I'll end here. 총리도 기뻐하시고. And he was happy with it too. 인사 그냥 나와. And I greeted him and I made my way out. 이번에 이제 김성훈 목사가 호주에 있는데. Actually, Pastor Kim Sung-won is in Australia. 그쪽에 이제 사모아에 있는 저 부장관이 사모아에 이제 김성훈 목사 초대했다. One deputy minister in Samoa invited him over to Samoa. 그래 갔는데 김성훈 목사 이제 사모아에 갔어요. So Pastor Kim Sung-won went to Samoa. 근데 그 부장관이 총리를 소개시켜줬어. But then the deputy minister introduced him to the prime minister. 김성한 목사, 김성 목사 이제 총리를 만났는데. So the pastor Kim Sung-won met the prime minister. 총리 첫 마디 당연 한국에서 왔느냐고. When he saw pastor Kim Sung-won, the first thing he asked him was, Are you from South Korea? Yes, I'm from South Korea. 혹시 그 박옥수 목사 아느냐고. And the prime minister asked him, Do you happen to know Pastor Oksu Park? Oh, 잘 안다. Oh, yes, I know him well. He's my, he's my, he's my master. Oh, 그러냐. Oh, is that so? 그래서 이제 
So the, the prime minister told him to invite me. 이제 그 남태평양 그 사모 이런 섬들은 지금 거의 그 코로나가 없어요. In the islands in South Pacific Ocean, there are not many islands where they have uh, COVID-19. 지난번에 우리가 피지에 저희들 그 가서 집회를 하려고 박영준 목사 이정도 목사 두명 보냈는데. Last time we sent Pastor Youngjun Park and also Pastor Youngdo Lee to Fiji for the conference. 안 되는데 총리께서 도와주셔서. 그두 사람이 지금 석달 동안 거기서 복음을 전하고 했습니다. Usually it's impossible, but they would let, let them in, so they were able to preach the gospel there for three months. 지금 이제 우리 우리가 그 지금 입국이 안 되는 사정인데. But they cannot go into the country anymore. 내 총리한테 제가 이제 초대를 받았습니다. So I was invited by the prime minister. 그리고 이제 쿡 제도에도 이제 초대를 받았고. And I was also invited by the Cook Islands. 그 피지에도 초대를 받았고. And I was also invited by Fiji. 그쪽에 섬나라에 한번 가야 하는데 지금은 아직 코로나 때문에 잘안 돼서 못 가고 있는. So I should go there someday, but I don't know when because of COVID-19. 이런 저들이 어느 나라 가든지 누가 앞에서든지 간에. You know, whatever we go, no matter who we meet. 이 복음을 전하면 그게 그렇게 좋은 거예요. When we preach the gospel, that's so great. 이번에 제가 이번 수양회를 하면서 복음을 전하는 그 자체가 얼마나 귀하고 아름다운지 모르겠어요. Yeah, during the summer camp, the fact that I'm able to preach the gospel that is so beautiful and nice. 오늘 아침에는 전 세계에 있는 오전 5시부터 그 7시까지 전 세계에 있는 우리 선교사들 이제 모임을 했습니다. Uh, this morning till uh, from 5 a.m. till 7 a.m. we had this you know world missionaries meeting. 두 시간 동안 각 나라 선교회에 그 보고 받는 보고하고 뭐 서로 오이는 안한두 시간 금방 지나갔어. For two hours, the, all those missionaries they gave their presentation of their countries and how things are going on in their countries. 그런데 주님께서 저희들 선교회 진짜 아무것도 아닌 선교회인데. Although our mission is nothing before God. 전 세계에 문을 열어. But I was so thankful and moved to see how God was opening the path for us. Even now, I feel like dreaming. God keeps opening the door before us. And I'm also invited by people in Israel. 알았어요. People in Israel they came to discover our mind education. 근데 그분들이 제가 이스라엘 나라 가르치는 마인드보다 우리 마인드 훨씬 수준 높다고. And they figured that our mind education was a lot advanced. 제 마인드 교육 전단 팀을 보내 달라고 초청을 받았어요. So they invited invited our delegation to come there. 그런 한 뒤에 이제 그분들이 와온 뒤에 저를 초대하겠다고 하더라고. And said they would invite me later. 그래서 내가 이스라엘 가서 복음 전할 거 생각하니까. So when I think about going to Israel and preach the gospel there, I'm so thankful. Pastor Zhang Jiuyuan, he, he, he gave my book to people in Israel. When people read my book, they said, is the Pastor Oksu Park Korean or is he Jew? Oh, he's Korean. He's Korean, but how does he know better about this, you know, giving offering even more than us Jews? And I laughed. 유대인들도 제사법 어떻게 하는지 알아요? You know how do you know how the Jews know about the offerings? They learned that from the Bible. 저도 성경 보고 알아요. I learned that from the Bible too. 그분들은 바빠서. And they're busy maybe. 잘안 읽잖아요. Didn't have much time to read the Bible. 저는 먹고 성경만 읽잖아요. And all that I do after eating is to read the Bible. 알지, it's natural for me to know about the offering maybe more than them. How can a Korean know about these offerings in more details like this? You know, when we give a sermon like this, you just listen. When the Jews read my book, they'll be surprised. You know, he's a Korean, but how does he know about all these offerings more than we do? You know, the priest and all of them, they would just talk about the offerings, but we know the meaning of the offering, we know how to receive forgiveness of sin. So if all the Jews learn like us, they would all receive forgiveness of sin. I think God is opening the way for us to preach the gospel in Israel. In TVN, we have the broadcasting station in TVN. We had, an inter we had this broadcasting in TVN. In Central and South America, we have this broadcasting called Enlace. I guess it's one of the biggest you know, broadcasting stations. 중남이 전체 스페인식권 다 커버하는 걸로. 예, 중남 스페인 
그 전체 다 가봅니다. It covers all the Spanish speaking region I know. 옛날에 저희들 그 성경 방송을 하다가 So before then we would we would broadcast uh in on Enlace. 죄송하지만 그 방송 비용을 다못 냈어요. We couldn't afford to pay for the you know fee. 근데 그래 좀 해주고 그랬는데. But they they took took care of it for us. 방송 중단됐어요. But anyway, at a certain point we stopped. 근데 이번에 저희들 그 방송이 나가면 그 코로나 이후에 But after 에서 방송 무료로 But after COVID-19 broke out, for free of charge, they in, they broadcasted our pro our uh, programs. Enlace 방송은 거의 돈을 안 받고. Enlace station they barely charged us. 남미 전체 에스파뇨를 쓰는다 다 나가는 방송. It was a it was a broadcasting station that covers all the you know Spanish speaking area like Central and South America. They have very high viewership. 제 Enlace 방송에 이제 계속 방송을 그. And as our as our sermons are broadcasted on, unless I'm so thankful about it. When we had press conference in Seoul, one of them sent us their their congratulations message. And even the first lady of Brazil sent us the message of congratulations. The Korean Korean reporters they were surprised. And I wanted to share about my ideas that I had. To easily put. Those who want to steal. 똑같은 이제 그 도둑질을 할때 잡힐 확률이 불가능하다. 그 말이 안 돼요. You know, they there is no probability of no probability of not getting caught. 도둑질하다 잡혀서 감옥을 몇번 사는 사람이지만. There even some people have been to prison several times after having uh, attempted stealing. 이번엔 요래 잡혔고 이래서 잡혔으니까. But they will think last time I caught I got caught because of this and this time because of that. But this time if I do it this way I will never get caught. 그들 교수 널 왔다 갔다 해요. That's why they would end up going to prison, come out and go back to prison. So they are being deceived by their thoughts. 그렇기 때문에 내가 도둑질을 하고 싶어. So when they want to steal, they will tend to think I'm not going to get caught. 도박을 해 돈을 따고 싶어서 왜 도박을 하냐? You know why people gamble? 이러. They would lose money. 그래서 이번엔 딸거 같아. But they would think, oh, this time I'm going to win money, and they would still lose money. 딸거 같아. Oh, this time I'm sure I'm going to win the money, but they would still lose the money. 딸거 같아. No, I feel like I'm going to win money this time. 그 생각을 믿어요. But they would keep on trusting their thoughts. 내가 도박을 하고 싶으면 when I want to gamble, 딸거 같은 마음이 들어. They have the feeling that they're going to win money. And when they have higher desire to want to commit adultery, then they would have the thought that I'm not going to get caught. When they have the heart to steal, they would think that I'm not going to get caught. There are many ways through which you, can, you may get caught. People there lean toward the thought that I'm not going to get caught. The people who come out of the prison, but they will keep on going back to prison, and that's how they spend their whole life. And as they gamble, they keep on losing money, but they will try it again and again. You lose your house. You lose, you lose the money for the operation of your wife. You lose the tuition for your sons. But this time, I'm going to win. So as they are deceived by the thoughts, they will keep on gambling. Myself too, when I lost my pair of gloves that day, I thought if I do it this way, I'm not going to get caught. But God gave me this heart. Yes, you may possibly not get caught. But in case you get caught, how would you be able to witness the gospel in the barrack? That would be impossible. So it would be suffering for me until the end of my military life. As I preached the gospel, the, the official who was in charge of the examining department, the department saw me and he called me. What did you do in private park before coming to the army? I was a pastor in a church, sir. Oh, I see. A private park, my spiritual life was good before coming to the military. My, 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 my mother was very sincere. But when I came to the army, I began to drink and smoke. Yesterday, I saw you preaching the gospel in the valley of the mountain. I was so condemned in my heart. Do you, want, do you need my help in anything? 
He was the officer whose name was Pan Geng Min. He got discharged as a as a as a colonel. He's now living in Suji. We meet them from time. We meet him from time to time. When I got discharged from the army, the day that I had to graduate from the training center, I got up early in the morning. I was waiting for him in his office. He came to his work. I saluted him. A good morning, good morning, Lieutenant. A good morning, Lieutenant. I was so thankful, to, thankful to work with you. I'm graduating today. I said, I came to greet you. A private park. Wait here. I thought of sending you maybe to Seoul where we have capital defense, or to Busan where we have logistics, or in Daegu where we have long long distance communication. These are the three major best communication centers where people want to go. I thought of sending you either in Seoul or in Daegu in Busan <웃음> in those good bases. But I thought if I could have you private park next to me and work with you, it would help my spiritual life. I thought. 우리 부대에 우리 교육부에 근무하도록 해놨어요. 너무 서투하지 말기라. So I made you stay in my department and work with me. So I hope you will not be disappointed. 저는 통신운수에 배울 만큼. My skill, my my score was not that good for me to stay in the communication center. Because there were 40 people in my class. Those who make it into the first five, they can go to where they want to. I couldn't make it into those top five. But there were already eight people who were professional in sending the Morse code. So all those who learned how to send Morse code, they were in my uh, department. So I couldn't, you know, overtake them. After my graduation, when I checked my document, I was 13 out of, four, 13 out of 40 people. You know, I got 13th place. I can never make it to come there. One month before our graduation, Sunjong and Changwon, three of us, we have prayer time. Uh, at least one of us should stay here. We should lead this worship. We prayed together. Humanistically, it was always impossible for us to stay there. But that day, I saluted uh, Lieutenant Park and said, Thank you. And I saluted out and I came out. And I ran. I came to the bunker and locked the door from inside. God, I'm, I'm going to stay here. You did it. I was able to feel this love that you cannot feel elsewhere in the world. God, I know that you know me. You remember me. You have, you have chosen my path. So in my life, this I was going through big and small problems and difficulties. But that God was with me. 시간 시간마다 문제가 있을 때마다 꼭 도우시고 일하는 걸 보면. From time to time, each time I go through problems, I could see Him helping me. 여러분 금고에 같은 돈 하도 부럽지 않고. Everyone having a lot of money in your safe, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to envy you for that. I don't even envy president. You know, there's nothing better than that. 그 하나님의 마음. That heart of God, that love of God. After having discovered the grace of God, I want to give my whole life for, to serve the Lord. I was so grateful. I was truly grateful. Nothing can make me this happy, I believe. Nothing can make me feel dissatisfied. Pastor Oksu Park is nobody. No, he is nobody. Humanistically, he's nobody. His character is not good. He has a lot of, you know, you know disadvantages, weaknesses. But as God is with me, each time I take a step forward, there are people who are standing against us. 
But I could see how they were all collapsing before me. In the, in the trial, there were people who were speaking against me. They wanted to you know, make me fail. However, we see God helping us. And that God works and lives among us. Today, what, I, uh, what, I, what I'm going to talk about with you, Peter, he was one of the disciples of Jesus. When he was crucified, Jesus was arrested in Gethsemane. And he was taken. When everybody else ran away from that, Peter and John followed him from a long way behind. So the people they took him to the high priest Annas's house. But John knew the high priest well. He knew the maid servant was keeping the door, so she let him in, so he went in. But Peter, on the other hand, he could not go in. So John saw Peter coming behind him. And he went out and he said to the maidservant who was keeping the door, uh, One of my friends wants to come with me. Can, I, can you let, it, let him in? Oh, sure. So he took him with him. Now when the maidservant saw Peter, Oh, you are one of the disciples of Jesus. Then Peter denied, No, I'm not. Oh, is that so? You, you look like one of them. Okay, you, you go in. So he went in. So in the yard, as it was called, people, they made this bonfire. They were trying to get the worm from the fire. So Peter, because it was cold, he went near the fire. As there was far people, they saw Peter's face. Oh, you are one of the disciples of Jesus. You are one of them. What are you talking about? I have no idea what you're talking about. So he denied Jesus three times. That's when rooster crowed. Three, rooster crowed. Then Peter thought, You will deny me three times before the rooster crows. Peter, he really he broke his heart. He went out and he wept. And Jesus, uh, eventually, he was crucified. And all the disciples, they lost their strength. And they were at home. That's when Jesus resurrected. And Jesus came to the place where the disciples were gathered. So do you have peace? He showed them the nail mark on his palm, and the people, they realized he resurrected. If you were like before, Peter would come to the front and say, Jesus, you, re you resurrected. I'm so thankful. That's how he would have reacted. But in Peter's heart, I denied him three times. That was pressing down on him. So he'll stay in the back row. So he let Jesus go. Peter really regretted of having denied Jesus. So the more he thought about it, it got greater in his heart. You know, when you think more about God, it get, God gets greater in your heart too, right? When you, have, when you have desire to want to make money, the money would get greater in your heart. And you, if you want to be good looking, it try to make you look good and it will get greater in your heart too. Let's say if we could give you 70 point out of 100 to your face, the people think I'm 100. So depending on their emotions and opinions, their reality may change in their hearts. 
As I read the Bible, the first impression I had was the reason why Bible is not easy to read. Before then, when I read novels, those novels will stimulate my emotions. It was so fun to read those novels. Like The Merchant of Venice, written by Shakespeare, it was so fun. There was this man named Antonio. And Jewish Shylock. And Shylock, he was the one who was dealing with money. One day, Antonio went to borrow money from Shylock. Oh, so you came to borrow money from me, Antonio, Mr. Antonio. So I came to borrow money from you. So how much do you need? So I, I, want, I want this much money and I want to pay you back a certain day. And Shylock really hated Antonio. He wanted to kill him. But he pretended he was good with him. But in the end, when they, were, they were, when they had to sign the document, what, they, what he wrote on the document was, in case you don't pay me on the due date, I'll cut off one pound of muscle near your heart. So he wrote it on the document. And Shylock said, you know, I'm not going to, of course, cut this one pound of muscle from your heart. We're just going to write it for fun, okay? And Antonio thoughtlessly he signed the document. And they signed and it was contracted. But unfortunately, Antonio's ship was wrecked. He couldn't pay him back on the due date. So now Shylock brought the document to the court and requested that this, he wanted this to be executed. Which means he was going to cut off one pound of muscle near his heart. So everybody was perplexed and some people wanted to pay Antonio in, in his place but he really declined. So this became a hot issue in the city of Venice. That's when this new judge showed up. This new judge was leading the case and he said, Antonio, is this your signature? Yes, that is mine. And I, I think that this should be executed as is written in the documents. So Antonio, you should unbutton your shirt and you should show your chest that, so that we can, they, you can cut off one pound of muscle from your heart. So they were all intense. And Shiloh was sharpening his knife and said, Oh, you judge Daniel, you're so good. With his knife in his hand, he was about to cut off one pound of muscle near his heart. And he held his knife, he was about to do that. That's when the judge said, Shylock, do you have a balance with you? No, I don't. What do you mean? Without the balance, how could you know that it is one pound of a muscle? In the document, it says one pound of muscle. You cannot cut off more than that. You shouldn't cut less than that. You should cut exactly one pound of muscle near his heart. Shylock was perplexed. And he said, so no matter how well I look at the document, I don't see any word, any word of blood here mentioning about blood. This document doesn't mention anything about blood. So Shiloh, I'm going to let you cut off one pound of muscle near his heart, but you shouldn't make him bleed. Because the document doesn't talk about the blood. If, you, if he bleeds and if he bleeds to death, you will have to die with him. So Shiloh, he was totally lost. That's when people began to clap and say, Oh, Daniel, you're a good judge. Shylock, you listen to me. 
베니스 법에는 in the law of venice 누구든지 베니스 시민을 살해하려고 하는 자는 if anyone attempt to harm or murder the people of venice 엄중한 처벌을 받게 돼 they should punish they should be punished severely 샬롱 너는 베니스 상인 베니스의 그 시민인 안토니오를 죽이려고 했다 샬롱 you attempted to kill the citizen of venice of antonio 너는 그 법을 벌을 절대로 피할 수 없을 것이다 so you not be you not be able to avoid this punishment 그래서 이제 그 다니엘의 명제판이라고 그러죠. So that's what they call the good, good, uh, good judgment of Daniel. 저그 저뭐 셰익스피어 그를 읽으면서. So I read that writing of Shakespeare. 그저 뭐야 베니스 상인. The Merchant of Venice. 또 말광양 길들이. And taming a little girl. 이제 여러분들 그 결혼해 가지고 여러분 남 아내가 말광양일 때는. And if you get married and if you see that the character of your wife is very tough 그 and wild. 그 말광양 길들이게 보면 남편의 아내 길들이 법을 잘 나와요. In one of those writings of Shakespeare, they have a good way to tame your wife. 다 읽었는데. And I read that all. 제 아내 그걸 써보진 않았어요. I didn't attempt to, attempt to use that to my wife. 근데 여러분 이제 그런 글들을 읽어 보면. But anyway, when I write when I read those writings. 판사가 지혜로운 게 아니고. You know, it's not the judge who is wise. It is the author Shakespeare who is wise. 맞죠? Right? 예, 그래요. Yes, that's it. 그렇기 때문에 우리가 형편을 보면 판사가 지혜롭고 뭐 샤일록이 악한 놈이고 안토니아가 선하다 이건 그건 다 아니고. So when you look at the content, it is like the Shylock is a bad one, Antonio is a good one. 베니스 상인한 소설을 쓰면서 그렇게 만든 거예요. But it is Shakespeare who wrote this novel of Merchant of Venice like that. 자 이제 우리는 이 성경을 읽 Just like that, as we read this Bible, we would discover this heart of God out of the Bible. In the story that we read today, Peter denied Jesus three times. After Jesus resurrected, Peter, you should have, you should have done. Oh, Jesus, you resurrected. You should have hold onto him and hug him. He should have, you know, over rejoiced, and happy. Oh, my Lord Jesus, he resurrected from the cross. He should have danced. But he was so calm and quiet. Why? Because he had denied Jesus three times. Here. 제일 마지막 요한복음 제 21장에서 In John chapter 21 베드로의 마음하고 예수님 마음을 정확하게 표현한 거예요. It expresses, it expresses and depicts the heart of Peter and heart of Jesus so precisely. 예수님 부활이 너무 기쁜데. Peter was so happy about Jesus. Peter was so thankful about Jesus resurrection. 기쁜 그 안고 막 기뻐 우리 주님 사셨다 막 춤을 춰야 하는데. He was so happy, he was so joyful. He wanted to hold him and hug him and say, "Oh, our Lord resurrected, our Lord resurrected." He wanted to shout it out. 사탄이 잡았어요. But Peter held on to his, uh, the, Satan held his heart. You denied Jesus three times. What kind of disciple are you? He should have rejoiced. He should have been thankful. He should have praised the Lord. But he was so depressed and frustrated. He stood, stayed in the back row without saying anything. And Jesus left. So Peter was so sad. I, I've denied Jesus three times. What kind of disciple am I? Listen to me, everyone. That's how Peter thought. But listen to my opinion. Peter, you denied Jesus three times, right? You, you committed theft. But that was all washed by the blood of Jesus on the cross. That is also washed. It's true, right? But 우리는 우리가 모든 게 슬픈 일이 있어도 so even if you have something sad 내가 생각이 안 떠오를 땐 슬프지 않아요. So as long as we don't remember that we wouldn't be sad. 맞아요. Right? 그땐 슬픔이 없는 건 똑같아요. That's like having no sadness at all. 맞습니까? Right? 기쁜 일이 있어요. Even if you, even if you have something joyful 떠오르지 않을 때는 But if you don't remember that 그 기쁨이 내 마음을 기쁘게 못 해요. That joy cannot make you rejoice. 내 머리 수없이 많은 기억들이 있는데 They may have a lot of memories in your 그 heart in your head. 그 말은 다 살아나는 게 아니에요. They are not going to all work, all work at the same time. 살아날 때가 있고 죽을 때가 있고 있는데 Sometimes they would be active, sometimes they would not be active. 내가 아무 슬픈 일이 있어도 No matter how sad things you may have 기쁨만 계속 생각나고 슬픈 생각 안 난다. 기쁘게 살수 있어. If you think about joyful things, you'd be able to live happy life. 
no matter how much suffering you may have, if you remember them, if you think about happy things, you'll be able to live a happy life. But people, they would be deceived there. Like, like the woman caught in the act of adultery, she was caught because when she wanted to commit adultery, she would think she was not going to get caught. That's why she ended, ended up committing adultery. And those who want to steal, they feel like they, they are not going to get caught. That's why they, they, those prisons are full of people. Do you understand? So people, they will feel like, I'm not going to get caught. So Satan, he just make him realize, make him remember all the deniers that he made against Jesus. Yes, all of us can make, you know, do some you know, errors, and we can do mistakes, we can do something wrong against, wrong against Jesus. But God washed it all. God established us to make us live a bright life. But when I do wrong against Jesus, when I commit sin, I could not witness well. What am I? What kind of preacher am I? I cannot do this. Satan will push us through those in orientation. Then we will think, oh, I'm not going to work. My ministry is not going to work out. Let me just run away. That's why people, they depart from the church. And those who departed from the church, why would they stand against the church? Knowing that God is not pleased of it. Satan will deceive them again. Why did you get out of that place? You know, say, in order to say that the church was wrong, they will make up all these, you know, lies. That Pastor Park embezzled money. You know, they will just uh, run these rumors like that. And I was declared not guilty. You know, they accused me of you know, about three, uh, 28 articles. In the end, the judgment, as he was giving his judgment, it was their, cla their, their claim. Their... It was their claim, but they could not have any base or any proofs. So in the Supreme Court, it was declared not guilty. So throughout all the three trials, I was declared not guilty. And what I hear later was that I bribed the bribe the judge. So all these lies. If I if I you know accuse them, they would get caught. But I'm not gonna I'm not doing it. But why do they do that openly? Once I went to Russia, people they talked about that. When I went to Russia, they said I bribed the judge to have have you know have my innocence. And I said to them, okay, let's say I bribed the judge. Would I bribe him when everybody's around? How did you know that? Did, did the judge say that or did I say that? Now the, that document leaked out. It was the fake, do, fake document by the prosecutors. Because of that, that prosecutor himself is standing trial. Because he leaked the document. But people, they want to believe that. Why? Because they don't want to admit that they are wrong and they want to blame the church. So that's a very nice, very uh, crooked scheme of Satan. Do you understand everyone? Satan can make you like that. Pretending that he's doing it for you. He was one of us preaching the gospel. It was so amazing to see God working among us. Recently, God opened the path for us to preach the gospel. We were able to preach the gospel. I don't think I'm the one who did well. Because there are so many precious ones who work with us. When I see our leading pastors, they work on this seriously all night long. They work on it again and again. This time, the leading pastor, they decided to you know, make people pay for this uh, summer camp. 
10만 원입니다. 한 사람 만 원씩 해. You know, ten dollar per person for the registration registration fee. 그 청도는 다 놔두고. So for the newcomers, maybe we can leave it. 청도들만이라도. Maybe only for our members. 한 집회 감사한 마음으로 드리기로 하자. So we decided to you know give this uh, registration fee for to you know, express our thankfulness toward God. 그리고 이번에 아프리카 위해서 그 액션 그걸 사서 아프리카부터 하나 주려고 그래. And this time we uh, bought these projectors for those countries in Africa. 지금 미국에 영화를 만들고 크리스마스 칸타다 영화를 만들고 있고. Crash Crash is Christ making this film on Christmas Cantata and also Easter. And also we have this film of Christmas and Kim. They were working on some other films now. 그 우리 교회 일어나 많은 것들을 이제 그 영, 영상으로 해서 우리 교회는 매, 뭐 시기 있을 시간 있을 때마다 영화 상영을 하려고 그래요. So things that are happening in our church we're going to make them into a film so that we can 그렇게 하면 전도가 참잘될것 같아요. Because the people can see that. So that would be nice for us to you know witness the gospel through those films. 그래서 전도가 있는 대사만 뭐 영, 그 프로젝트가 싸지 않으니까. So those projectors they are not like that expensive. 그래서 아프리카부터 주려고 해요. So we're going to you know we're going to give it to those African countries. 우리 진행부에서 하는 생각들 보면 늘 형제들 생각하고 말씀 생각하고 그런 일들을 해 나가요. So when I when I see those ideas of our organizing pastor they are so nice they're really thinking about the brothers and sisters. 살아 있는데 민철 목사님 총회장들이 일한 거 너무 너무 행복했어요. While I'm alive I was so happy to see Pastor Lee Minchil working as the president of our mission. 그래도 좀 하고 sometimes I would scold them. 또 잘하는 부분들이 있고. There are also good things that they are doing. 또 내가 없어도 이제 앞으로는 잘할 수 있을 것 같고. Even if I'm not around I think they, I think they're they're going to do a good job. 너무 so I'm so thankful before God. So that's how God is leading us. But you know, Peter, so he fell into what kind of thoughts? Oh, Jesus resurrected. But why did he get crucified on the cross? For our sins. So even the sin of denying Jesus that was you know, washed on the cross, in the heart of Jesus, for Jesus it was no matter. Even if it is a sin to deny him, it was already washed on the cross. But Peter being deceived by Satan, 이제 내가 예수님 세례 본 분이라고 나 같은 인간이 무슨 뭐 예수님 사도야? Oh, I deny Jesus three times. What kind of disciple am I? What kind of apostle am I? I'm not. 그게 이제 점점 예수님 부인한 그 마음이 그 한심이 되니까. That heart became a big load in his heart. 베드로가 생각. So Peter thought. 내가 무슨 예수님 제자야? What kind of disciple am I? 아니야, I'm not a disciple. I'm not a disciple. I'm a fisherman. 거기나 잡으러 가야지. Let me just go fishing. 그래서. So Jesus resurrected. After meeting Jesus, who resurrected. Instead of shouting and witnessing that our Lord resurrected, he just went back to Sea of Galilee to fish. That evening, couldn't catch a single fish. The day he broke, Jesus came to him. Did you catch any? No, Lord. Let down your net to your right. In the film made by Gracia's choir, from this point of view, this is the right side. From that point of view, this is the right side. But they did that, right? So that was fun, right? So they let down the net and they caught a lot of fishes. Then Peter recognized that it was Jesus. He swam and went before Jesus. Jesus has prepared the fire and put the bread and prepared the water. And Jesus was waiting for Peter. And they were having breakfast. And with Jesus, he had the breakfast together. After the breakfast, Jesus didn't say anything else. He Simon, son of Jonas, love us thou me more than these. What is he saying? What is he saying? In the heart of Peter, there are many, many thoughts in Peter. He had love for Jesus. He had the heart to die for Jesus. He also had those hearts. But on the other hand, he also had a denial. He also had this weak flesh. So John chapter 21 talks about this. Why? So you are just like Peter. Yes, there are good things that you have done for Jesus. Yes, we did love Jesus. We worked for Jesus. He shed his blood for us. You wanted to give your life for Christ, right? 
But on the other hand, uh, in this church, nothing works out. What kind of minister am I? Now, all these thoughts are just mingled up in your hearts. Jesus, in Peter's heart, not only the denier, denial that he made against Jesus, there are many thoughts in us, and there are th some thoughts that works in your heart. So Jesus wanted to take out the love that Peter had for Jesus out to the surface. Simon, son of Jonas, love us thou me more than these. Peter thought about it. What kind of disciple am I? What kind of apostle am I? I denied him three times. I'm not. Then Jesus said, son of son, Simon, son of Jonas, love us thou me more than these. Peter did love Jesus in his heart. Lord, thou, know, thou knowest that I love thee. He asked him the same question three times. What is going on here? In Peter's heart, he wanted to push upward the love that Peter had for Jesus out to the surface. He had love for Jesus. You know, he sank deep in his heart. All the denial that he made was floating on the surface of his heart. It was covering the love that he had for Jesus. Then we would get corrupted. In your hearts, everyone, the grace that you received from the Lord, the blessing, love, I love him too. You know, we were very close to the Lord. But I sinned. I also made mistakes. You know, Satan will reveal those. And make you feel condemned. What kind of disciple am I? And Satan will make people get corrupted like that. Jesus didn't do anything special. So Peter, Jesus went deep into his Peter's heart and, and brought out the love that Peter had for Jesus out to the surface. He asked him the same question three times. Simon, son of Jonas. Love us thou me more than these. Then Jesus, Peter thought about his love, the love yeah, he had for Jesus. 주님, 주님 사랑합니다, 주님. Yeah, Lord, I love you. Feed my sheep. Feed my sheep. Now the depression that he, the frustration that he had after denying Jesus, he also had love for Jesus. When he took them both of them, the grace he received was so big. The love that he had, no, that frustration denying Jesus, it wasn't my true heart. So that denial that he made against Jesus, it was nothing compared to the love and grace he received from Jesus. Do you agree? Amen. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yes. Peter denying Jesus, that's nothing. He had greater love in him. He had greater gratitude. He had greater joy. He had greater, greater grace. He buried them all. And he was only holding on to the denial that he made. What kind of disciple am I? That is the reality of Satan. The people who are, who are falling into trials and going out of the church, who are speaking against the church, why do they do that? Because Satan would recall all those you know, frustrations and despair. How did we get saved? How did we receive forgiveness of sin? How did we hear this gospel? How did we receive our salvation? What are we going to exchange it for? Amen. 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 If you get deceived by Satan, you may forget all the blessings and grace received from the Lord. You may only think about those negative things. If that happens, you'd be a negative person. Although it's our heart, but you cannot do it all hearts.
We cannot see the whole heart. You just think about the certain things that float in your heart. Sometimes despair, sometimes sadness, sometimes negative things. Then you, then you say, what is the point of believing in Jesus? I'm not going to do it anymore. And they'll speak against the church, they'll try to destroy the church. No, that evil heart will arise from your heart too. But if you think about the grace received from the Lord, you can't do that. That is why Jesus, he wanted to you know, bring up that heart from Peter. Simon, son of Jonas, love us thou me more than these. Yeah, Lord, I love thee. You saved the sinner like me. You, was, you were crucified on the cross. And you saved me, Lord. You took me in as your yeah, disciple. 주님, yes, Lord, I love you. Of course I love you. I, I can't live without you, Lord. That's how he changed. And it's the same thing to you. If you think about Jesus who died on the cross for you, what can you say to express all his love? No matter how much trial you may have, if you are saved, you have this love for Jesus. But Satan makes you bury all that deep in your heart and bury them. And you only make you think about those sufferings and pains. So just as he did to Peter, Jesus is working in our heart as well. He will try to pull out the blessing he received. He was worshipping, praising the Lord and thankfulness. And you'll be greater laborers of the gospel. No, those who fell into temptation, they are not the ones who did not receive blessings. No, those who are thankful, that doesn't mean they did not receive any despair. Because the love is so great, it is big enough to cover all the trials and temptations. Jesus has given us enough love for us to sacrifice ourselves for the Lord. And you washed all our filthy Hallelujah. sins. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why we love Jesus. From time to time, we have some wrong thoughts, thinking we are sad and we are not working out for us. But just like Jesus giving him a new thought to Peter, the last part of the John chapter 21, you also have good things and bad things in us. Peter also denied Jesus. He also loved Jesus. But he took them out. And Jesus made Peter into a powerful servant of God again. Healing the man who was stamped <laughs> gate. He made him into a great, greater work of God. Even now, through our worship, through our praises, through the Bible, he's trying to recall the love that we had received from the Lord. And when they are, when they are asleep, when they're asleep, when we only have a fleshly thought, we'll fall, fall back into fleshly life. So we should have this meeting as often as possible. And if we give the testimony of our love, and if we try to recall the love, and when our hearts be filled up with those loves, all of you would be able to become the powerful man of God. Let us pray. Holy Father God, you loved us and you saved us. Let us day by day praise you, Lord. We're so grateful to you, Lord. Please bless this camp. And in the heart of our brothers and sisters, just as you worked in Peter's heart, let the gratitude overflow in our heart. Let us become precious servants as Peter. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we prayed. Amen. Thank you very much, everyone.
Yeah.